This is not something you see every day. A freeway landing, a plane touches down on the 91, but that's not the most amazing part. Honoring a hero. A Southern California teenager is recognized for springing into action during an emergency situation. His advice for others. The Rundown, brought to you by Goal Zero. Hello everyone, welcome to The Rundown. I'm Robin Winston, the pilot of a small plane managed to touch down on the busy 91 freeway Tuesday afternoon. And despite the fiery impact, he and his passenger both walked away without a scratch. Pilot Andrew Cho says his single engine Piper aircraft was having engine trouble as he was heading for the Corona Airport. He knew he wouldn't make it, so he decided to land right there on the freeway near Lincoln Avenue. This happened at around 1230 in the afternoon when plenty of cars were on the road. On my right side, of course, was the freeway, and my biggest fear was, of course, hitting other cars. Um, but I saw enough of a gap there, and I just headed for uh, the gap. You never stop flying the plane. Just because you lose your engine, your plane doesn't drop out of the sky, um, and you fly it all the way to the ground. Well, thankfully, nobody on the ground was hurt either, and one man's pickup truck was the only vehicle that was damaged. The CHP and the FAA are both investigating. We're learning more about the Monterey Park police officer shot and killed outside of a gym. Guardiel Solorio was a rookie. He had just joined the department last month. The 26-year-old was not on duty when he was killed Monday afternoon. The shooting happened right there in the parking lot of an L.A. fitness in Downey. One of his friends said... Solario always wanted to be a police officer. He was excited, he was loving the job. Um, he had just made his first official arrest and uh, we were communicating about catching up and having lunch sometime. Uh, and then this happened. The gunman has not been called. Police say they don't want to share what leads they're looking into because they don't want to compromise the investigation. Demand for the monkeypox vaccine has outpaced supply. There were long lines Tuesday at this new vaccination site at Barnsdale Art Park in East LA. Now the FDA has cleared the way for single doses of the vaccine to be divided into five to protect more people. The FDA will also allow those under 18 who are considered at high risk of monkeypox infection to get the vaccine. All right, we're not done with the heat just yet. There's more hot weather and thunderstorm activity on the way. Meteorologist David Bigger breaks it down in your first alert forecast. As we go through the next couple of days, the best way to describe the weather is with one word, steady. It's going to remain warm across the region. We're going to hold on to some monsoonal moisture, and it does look like we'll still have a couple of chances of thunderstorms coming our way for the area mountains. I think for Wednesday, the chances are relatively low for the mountains. They're still there. The deserts look relatively quiet, but we're still kind of sandwiched between an area of high pressure that's off toward our east and a weak cutoff low that's off the coastline. So the circulation will drag some of that moisture across the region. But going through the next couple of days, you can almost ignore this area of low pressure. Watch where the high goes. Really doesn't go anywhere as we go all the way into about Friday. And it doesn't really move very far as we get into the weekend either. And that means the monsoonal moisture tap is still in the neighborhood, still providing a little humidity, still providing that thunderstorm chance for the mountain spots. And it's also providing the heat getting into the weekend and maybe the start of next week. We've learned the FBI search of former President Trump's Florida home comes after months of back and forth between Trump and the Department of Justice. Multiple sources say this is connected to classified documents Trump took to his Florida compound when he left the White House. But Mr. Trump's team says this investigation is driven by politics. Federal officials have been criticized for the move. A Republican congressman says that Trump has made up his mind about 2024, but there's no word on when that decision will be made public. LA city leaders finalized a ban on homeless encampments within 500 feet of schools and daycare centers, but not before things got combative inside of city council chambers. The, the council president has ordered you to leave the meeting quietly. Hundreds of protesters were there speaking out ahead of the vote Tuesday. At one point, a protester climbed over a bench and charged toward council members. Police hauled her away as the crowd tried to intervene. One person was detained and three officers were hurt in all of this. The council eventually voted 11 to 3 to ban the homeless encampments. It's expected to go into effect in about a month. I'm a power blackout and I'm going to put you in the dark. What is that? 
It's the Yeti 3000X solar generator, a home backup system from Goal Zero. Take that blackout. The NBC4 I team has found complaints about mail theft are skyrocketing. Thieves are stealing bills, financial statements, and checks. Investigative reporter Lolita Lopez talked to a couple whose home security cameras captured a pile of open mail right in front of their home and shows us how you can keep your important documents safe. Jennifer Shookman and her husband Dave noticed this pile of mail in the street while pulling into their driveway near Van Nuys. They say the envelopes with financial statements and other important documents were cut open. The addresses from all across Los Angeles. You were holding on to very sensitive you know, pieces of mail. My first concern is for the victims of this because who knows who's waiting for a check. This report from the Postal Service Inspector General shows mail theft complaints nationally increased by 161% from March 2020 to February 2021. While the problem is getting worse here in Los Angeles, investigations into mail thefts dropped 31%. The sale of keys and stolen checks has absolutely exploded on the dark web. The dark web is a hidden part of the internet where illegal activity can occur. The I-team also found that postal carriers are also increasingly being assaulted and robbed for their mail or arrow keys that can open up multiple mailboxes. This man was recently sentenced to more than a decade behind bars following a crime spree in Los Angeles. He pled guilty to robbing five mail carriers at gunpoint. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service in a statement tells us, while there has been a rise in mail theft complaints, a complaint does not necessarily equate to a confirmed instance of mail theft, adding they work closely with its local, county, state, and federal law enforcement partners. Now, there are ways you can stay alert and protect yourself from thieves taking your mail. Here are four tips for you. Promptly pick up your mail. Don't let it sit around, especially if you're expecting a check. If you're waiting for something and it hasn't arrived, ask about the overdue mail. If you're sending important documents, request a signature confirmation. That way, the recipient must sign upon delivery. And if you have concerns about your mail security, consider getting a P.O. box at your local post office. For the IT, Lolita Lopez, NBC4 News. If you've been to Dodger Stadium, you know that traffic in and out of the ballpark can be a nightmare. So what's the solution? How about a gondola that's almost 200 feet in the air? Well, we got a look at a prototype of the gondola project. Planners envision fans taking public transit from all over the county to Union Station. Well, they will walk onto one of the 50 gondolas that will be circulating constantly to and from Dodger Stadium with an added view of the city. Not everyone is happy about the project, though. Some have started an online petition to stop the project, saying it'll change neighborhoods and come too close to their homes. A local teenager is being honored for jumping right into action to save a 79-year-old man's life. Leo Kaufman was 17 years old last summer when a car ran a red light in Hidden Hills and just slammed right into Dennis Platt's truck. Well, the force of the collision was so hard that Dennis and his dog were ejected. Leo performed CPR until firefighters and paramedics arrived. Well, on Tuesday, he was honored by the department, the city, and the Platt family for his bravery and quick thinking. It's because of Leo's fearlessness to jump into action, his wisdom, his strength, and his selflessness that dad's body did not suffer from lack of oxygen. Leo, you will forever be remembered as a hero. I want to use this time to encourage everyone to get CPR certified. Leo is a cadet with LAFD and credits the program for helping him get CPR certified. He says dedicating just a few hours to learn CPR can make a huge difference. Way to go, Leo. We are so proud of you. You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and on our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune in to Today in LA on NBC4 weekdays from 4 to 7 a.m. I'll be helping you get around with the traffic reports throughout your morning commute. I'll see you next time on The Rundown.